Many art videos show you how to paint. This video is slightly different. I am going to try and show you what an artist is looking for in any subject in order to make a painting. Let's look around the house. I will show you that paintings are not about the subject itself, but about a successful balance of shapes, tones and colours that work together to make an interesting picture. Take these boots. Just from a simple pair of boots, I found several views that I'd like to paint. A little sketch as a guide for my brush. Burnt Sienna is a good colour that I can use over most of this image because even the background has got a lot of Burnt Sienna, except these blue tiles. I'll leave the blue tile out because it's quite different. The little eyelets, if I need to bring them back, I can use a little touch of, of white paint because that's going to get too complicated if I try and think about those now. Now, look at the light behind the back of this shoe. That, I don't want to go over that with the burnt sienna, because look at that dark against light. It, these are the things that make things exciting to paint. It's these contrasts. Remember that I want, want to do that soft blend later as well between the, the dark fur. So that back behind that boot, it's not bright white, but it's pale, so let's keep that nice and light. Now I want to touch in this wet in wet wash for the fur just before it dries. I'm going to test it, <laughs> see if it's ready. Oh, and it's spread a bit too much. I'll just dab that off. You want a soft edge, but we don't want it to spread, so less paint on the, on the brush. And also it's quite light over the back there, isn't it? But it's very dark inside. inside here. So I'm just going to dab off the excess moisture on here because I want a crisp edge there. So I can come down with that V now. Let it spread. If it goes where you want it to the first time, that's fine. If you've got to take it off, just get ready to dab if you need to. I just don't want it to spread too much this way, but I want it soft edged. I want to plunge deep, deep, deep dark into there. It's such a yummy dark, isn't it? As you look at them, you find one minute they're really sort of warm and hot and you feel, oh, I must add more sort of red into this dark. And then you do that and then you think, oh, no, no, it's actually cool. I, I want more blue into it. But that's oh, all the, the whole thing of this sort of balancing your colours and your lights and your darks is all what painting's about. Put a little bit of alizarin with the burnt sienna now, just to heat it up a bit. Now I'm coming down, leaving that lovely light area at the front of the boot. Now the back of the boot is really dark, so let's pick up some of that sepia again. Come in with that. Too dark. Take it off the brush, come down like that. A lovely sort of hot leather colour. It has got a lot of red in it. And just lift that a little bit for the pale tile where the shadow isn't. Now I've got to leave areas out for the laces as they crisscross across. darker colour down the side of that. Burnt sienna and alizarin crimson. Now we're coming inside the tongue of this boot here. Lovely wrinkly leather shape. Again it's these darks that plunge behind things. Such simple things that make painting interesting and obviously the more interest you have in a painting the more interest will show in the finished result. If you watch the tones, the tones will shape the boot so if you watch where the tones are lighter and darker round the foot of it 
Now we're all darker than the floor now, so we can bring this colour right over the heel, the boot there. And we can start to also come up behind the pattern of the stitching. Where the fur overlaps the boot, we can come now under underneath it. And now we're just going to leave the little eyelets out of the wash. It's very dark actually, it's very dark there. Now I've got to wait patiently for this to dry so I can rub the masking fluid off. Oh, I know, I can leave it to the blue while I wait. Don't forget your painting comes first, you must never be a slave to the view. Right, the, the lace is darker than the blue, so I can go right over the lace. And I can use this blue to start to build the dark sole to the shoe. There's two tones in that sole, the lip, the, the top lip of it, and the, the side of it. So this is going to be the first of those tones. And then we come in this lovely dark inside here. We've got to start shaping this boot now, in, uh, this underneath of the boot and we can use this blue over the burnt sienna to create that dark in there. Look how nice and dark that makes that. Can't really see clearly where that boot, where that heel meets the ground. We just know that it's dark in there. So don't need to have a hard edge. There's a bit of yellow ochre on these tiles, so that's a nice similar colour to Burnt Sienna, so we're not really adding too many new combinations of colours in by using a bit of yellow ochre. I'm also using the putty rubber to take the masking off. Put in the little eyelets, the tip of the brush. Now I've got to bring the lace across the floor, turning the paper to follow the flow. And take the colour off the brush so it's nice and pale, just bringing the Shadow it casts across the shoe. Now dark, just darken up the sole of the boot, leaving the little highlight. And then as it comes around that way, the darker part of the sole line is actually on the top of it where the shadow is cast. Tiny touch of yellow to kill off the white. It's not bright white, that floor. So we'll put the yellow oak over that. So I'm trying to tell you that there's a boot, there's laces sitting on a tile floor, but I don't want to give you too much information. I want you to be left with the imagination of it. And this tone down here needs to be much darker for this side of the boot. Leaving that nice wrinkle in the leather. And then I think, oh, suddenly I find I'm, I'm sort of beginning to see the same things I've seen already. I, I'm not seeing new things. So then I sit back and think, hmm, maybe I'm nearly there. Okay, I think but that's my little pair of boots.